Hello, and welcome to the North American European SciPIC Fab EPIX Fab joint workshop on laser integration in silicon photonics and laser integration multi project wafer fabrication runs. Our goal is to help our academic and industrial community power up photonic integrated circuits. We will discuss the need for lasers, the technical approaches, the opportunities for applications, and finally, we are offering the world's first publicly available fabrication runs with silicon integrated lasers. For a long time, the light source in most silicon photonic systems was external to the chip. It was fiber connected or hybridly assembled. But light source integration has many key assets, not only in terms of miniaturization, but also in terms of performance and most importantly, perhaps in cost. That makes light source integration perhaps the holy grail of silicon photonics. With the rapidly growing range of applications enabled by silicon photonics, we see that the assets of integration start to materialize. And this happens at a time, at a pivotal time perhaps, where the technology is getting ready for it. But the wish list for this integration technology is not small and many challenges are not yet fully addressed. We need obviously good optical gain, good power conversion efficiency and high enough output power, all at room temperature and CW. We need electrical pumping and efficient, efficient coupling to waveguides. We obviously prefer wafer scale technologies compa compatible with mainstream silicon or silicon nitride big platforms. And last not least, we want technology that is accessible for industry, including SMEs, as well as for academia. All of this will be addressed in the workshop. We really have a very exciting program lined up for you. The workshop will run online from Monday 15 till Thursday 18th of November each day for two hours from 5 till 7 p.m. in European time or 8 till 10 a.m. Pacific time. Now for the first three days we have an excellent lineup of world-class speakers from academia and industry who will discuss how they approach the challenge to laser integration. As a keynote speaker on Monday, Professor John Bowers from UCSB will discuss the growing of quantum dot lasers on silicon. Also on Monday, we welcome Dr. Shinji Matsuo from NTT in Japan, who will speak about membrane lasers on silicon, and Professor Christian Koos from Vanguard Photonics, who will talk about uh, the laser integration possibilities using photonic wire bonding. Now on the second day, Tuesday, we'll start with a story about backside integration of lasers by Dr. Tori Thiessen from the University of Toronto. Dr. Dawa Heusebroek will give us a view on the laser integration strategies of Lionics in the Netherlands, and we will use transfer printing for laser integration that will be explained by Professor Gunther Rolkens from Ghent University and IMEC in Belgium. Finally, on Tuesday, Dr. Edward Priesler from Tower Semiconductors will explain how they see laser integration in a commercial CMOS foundry process. Now, on Wednesday, the third day, we are again looking forward to four exciting presentations. We'll hear about the LUMOS and other DARPA programs by Dr. Gordon Keeler. And with Dr. Aaron Zilke from Rockley Photonics, we'll dive a bit deeper into the use cases for laser integration, in particular for sensor applications. We'll also hear about the use cases for LiDAR by Dr. Amir Tavali of Silk Technologies. And then the final speaker in our workshop program will be Dr. Thomas Lilieberg from Intel, giving us a good view on Intel's hybrid laser approach. Now, those three days will fill your head with all possible laser integration strategies. On the fourth day, we will show you how you can put some of these to use with the first multi-project wafer prototype runs by SciEpic Fab and Epix. SciEpic Fab is offering a multi-project wafer run that uses photonic wire bonds to connect a DFB laser to the silicon photonic chip. We ask participants to register by December 3rd, submit their final design on February 11th, and we expect to deliver chips next summer. The fabrication process is based on Applied Nanotool's standard offering of a 220 nanometer thick silicon on insulator device layer with metal heaters for phase shifters. An extra step is added to create a pocket for the lasers with metal deposited on the bottom in order to make an electrical connection to the laser's back contact. Laser integration will be performed by Dream Photonics using the Vanguard automation tool that UBC purchased last year. 
we are calling the MPW run Shuxan, named after the impressive mountain that is located 130 kilometers from the university. Each designer will receive four copies of the same design, and we are targeting a yield of greater than 25%. Each design is five by five millimeters and will contain one O-band DFB laser. During the workshop, we will go over the process design kit and a tutorial. We are very excited about offering this fabrication run, and we look forward to working with you. For the Epic Swap SOA integration run, we're going to leverage microtransfer printing to integrate semiconductor optical amplifiers onto silicon photonic integrated circuits. A multi project wafer run um, will be scheduled with a registration deadline of December 3rd, a tape out date of February 11th, and chip delivery in October 2022. The fabrication process consists of the fabrication of the silicon photonic circuits in IMEC, Belgium, by using a 400 nanometer thick SOI wafer with waveguides that are 180 nanometer etched. And then on top of these circuits, um, 1.5 micron semiconductor optical amplifiers will be integrated using microtransfer printing. Um, and finally, heaters and metal routing will be included as well. MPW details are the following. Each designer will receive three copies of the same design. Each design is five by two and a half millimeter with eight SOAs per design possible. There will be a tutorial design guide and PDK covered during the workshop. And the costs are 8,750 euros, including support and design review. If you want to get more information on this MPW run, please contact Abdul Rahim.